You are unique. You are unnumbered. 90% of illness and disease is related to stress. When was the last time you felt stressed? Overwhelmed, felt run down, got a cold, felt moody, anxious, or even a low mood? Was it last year? Was it last month? Was it last week? Or was it even today? My name is Dr. Amy, and I am the founder of Be Unnumbered. And for the last eight years, I have been helping people just like you learn more about themselves and take a proactive and preventative approach to their health. Yet, not so long ago, it looked like I had it all together, successful and healthy on the outside. And yet, on the inside, I was anxious, nervous, felt disconnected, I had poor skin, I was bloated. I hit a wall and that wall was burnout. I was constantly chasing my tail. Does that sound familiar? Now I know that I am not alone in this. If you are watching this, you are probably also a perfectionist. You probably have a list of accolades and everyone thinks that you are successful. You feel exhausted, you can't focus, and you wonder when it's gonna stop. Worst of all is how long have you known this? You're clever, you're intelligent, and yet you mask this from all those people around you. Now, in my 15 years of medicine, I've observed people like you and me. And what I know is that we don't do things by halves. And so when we crash, we crash hard. Take for example a car. You've been driving it 100 kilometers an hour, you've had no service, and yet there's warning lights on the dial. And you fail to see it. What do you think happens? Eventually, the car just stops. Now I've seen this in health many, many times. On a serious note, I've seen it in broken bones, I've seen it in heart attacks, I've seen it in chronic disease, I've seen it in mental health breakdowns, and I've even seen it wreck relationships and families. And that's not to mention the successful business that you worked so hard for to get to where you currently are right this moment. The know-it-all perfectionist in you doesn't want to ask for help. I know it. I know it so well. But I'm telling you now, you have two trajectories. One is the crash and burn. The other is a proactive model which allows you to optimize your health now in order to achieve all of your gifts and your talents to give to the world. But the issue is, is you have two trajectories. One is the crash and burn. Many of you may choose that. But for those of you that can actually see the value in looking at your health right now, those of you that want to be able to optimize your health and give your gifts and your talents to the world, just think about it for a moment. What would it mean to you to have more energy in the mornings, to get up earlier and do more of the things that you love? What would it mean to you to have more clarity and focus on the projects that you're completing? What would it mean to you to feel connected in your own physical self every single day? What would it mean to you to not have to take time off work because you've burnt yourself out every second month? What value would that be to you? Think about that. The only way that I was able to change the trajectory of my life was to actually be coached. And that involved a lot of, lot of leaning in. Leaning in to things that I was resistant to. Can you just imagine to actually think about if you put the same amount of energy and effort into your health as you did your business or your job or whatever your passion is, how your life would look so different. I'm so excited to announce my Be Unnumbered coaching for the very first time. So if you are listening to this, this is super exciting. 
I will not only be bringing my 15 years of medicine to the table, but I'll also bringing in my life coaching, my yoga, my personal training, my NLP practitioner, and all of the other modalities that I love. And bringing that to you each and every single time that we coach you. And I'll be bringing in my flair of my personality. So you get to see all of me and I get to see all of you and I will not for one second let you hide. Working with Amy was the best thing I've ever done. She has taught me so much around health, so much around my own body. Not only did I find her extremely professional, her character is very nurturing, so easy to talk to, and I've just had an amazing journey ever since I've met her and known her, um, and the amount of knowledge that I have gained, I'm just truly grateful for, and I thank you. I first met Dr. Amy when I went to one of her workshops on stress. I was struggling with burnout and um, the physical symptoms of long-term stress at the time. Um, so once I met her, I knew that I'd found someone who was willing to go a little bit beyond the general and actually help me. So she's willing to listen and she um, got me the test that I needed and got me on the right track to actually get back to health. She found out what was going on internally um, which is um, a lot of GPs hadn't until then. She is just so driven and she has this wealth of knowledge that she just wants to share with the world and just help people to become accountable for their business and for their health, for their way of being. And I think that's like a really endearing quality because there's not a lot of people out there who are willing to take that step and put themselves on the line and actually say what it is that's holding you back. But Amy will. Amy will tell you, and sometimes you don't like it. Sometimes you're going to kick and scream and sometimes, you know what, you're going to go, you're right. But conversely, she will also show you where your softer sides are and get you to lean into that. Dr. Amy has a beautiful method of being able to bring in the traditional realms of medicine and to, to dance and to weave them with the beautiful holistic style of medicine, which is what's been important to me over the years. She really listened to me, heard what I needed to, to, to say um, and respected that I obviously know myself quite well as well. I continue to work with Amy today and, and utilize all the different skills, modalities and magnificence that she is as a, as a doctor. And my life will never be the same because she's shown me that, that health is, is a long game. It's not something that I just want to feel good now. So I'll take this medicine or take this painkiller. Um, it's a long game of preventative natural medicine, i.e. food, looking after my body, listening to the listening to my physiology and completing my other practices like breathwork and meditation, as well as and not excluding the really scientific side of things. And so it's like it's awesome for her it's awesome for me to see her be a stand for the union or synthesis of those two worlds which normally seem so seem so polarized but are in actuality working together for us to heal ourselves in the most in the easiest and most effective way she has extensive knowledge and training and i think she is absolutely incredible and she's really helped me to really understand the importance of health and well-being and to um take a preventative approach to health and to know that you can implement lifestyle change to um, really feel vital rather than just managing symptoms once you are suddenly ill. So um, she has this amazing, you know, um, leadership quality when it comes to that. She really helped me with my mindset, helping with nutrition and confidence and just understanding how important it all is. So um, yeah, I absolutely love her. I love her work. And if you have the opportunity to work with her, then please don't sit on the fence.
I've had the privilege of working with Dr. Amy for over five years and I've got to say she's probably one of the most passionate, enthusiastic integrative doctors I've ever had the pleasure of meeting and there's one thing I love about Amy, she's always positive and she works with her clients um, in a really professional way that they feel like she's walking in their steps with them um, and she's not uh, telling them what to do, she's teaching them and giving them some great solutions for the long term. I just think health's not a short term fix. I think we invest so much in um, life insurance, what we should be investing in is health. So if you are listening to this and if anything resonates, if you are that perfectionist, always running around after everyone else, you're successful, maybe you have lots of accolades, um, people look up to you, then this is for you. I am talking directly to you because there's only going to be a few spots and it, the time is now. So if you're ready, please apply down below the link and I can't wait to talk to you.